Hi everyone, Nandini here. I hope you're doing well. So today I thought of creating a blue graphic eyeliner look. This makeup is perfect for summer and spring as it is vibrant and subtle at the same time. So without further ado, let's just jump into the video. Hi guys, so first you can see that my face is kind of glowing at the moment. So what I've done is I've put a moisturizer on. This is the uh, Emoline Moisturizer. You can find it at any pharmacy. And I've just put this on my face. And after that, I have applied the Lacme Absolute Undercover Gel Primer. I really like the consistency of this primer because it's uh, really gel-like and it sits very smoothly on my skin. So what I've done is I've applied it over my pimples uh, over here in the center of my face and around my eyes because I'm going to be doing some eye makeup and at the center of my forehead. So now after prepping my skin, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a concealer on. So the concealer that I use is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I really like this one because it's uh, the best one that suits my skin. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to dot it all over my skin wherever I have imperfections. I like to do the concealer before my foundation because I feel that gives me the best coverage and yeah I'm just gonna dot it over my face now. So as you can see I have dotted uh, the concealer all over my face and I'm not gonna blend it I'm just gonna let it settle a little bit on my skin and I'm gonna use my foundation. So the foundation that I'm gonna use is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. This is in warm nude shade. I really like this foundation because it makes my pores look very minimal and gives me the best coverage in a very affordable price. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use, uh, take out some of the foundation onto my hand, on the back of my hand. Just a little bit, not too much. And uh, I am going to go in with a wet beauty blender. Uh, this is from Bronson by the way, it's very cheap. So as you can see, I'm just buffing the foundation over my face. I know I look like a ghost right now, but believe me, it's all gonna come together very nicely. Okay, so I have buffed my foundation onto my face and I'm gonna go again with my concealer and uh, I'm gonna put it over my eyelids right now because this is gonna be a base for my eyeshadow now. This is how my base looks after I have applied primer, moisturizer, concealer and foundation and I don't like to put a lot of concealer over my eyelids and under my eyes because I get a lot of creasing. So uh, what I do is I just uh, have whatever the residue is left over in my beauty blender. I just tap it over my eyes lightly and let the excess uh, kind of do its job so as you can see my eyes do look a little brighter than before and this is I feel this is the optimal coverage that I need on my eyes uh, for my brows today I'm not gonna go in with a brow pencil instead I'm gonna use something lighter and this is the wet and wild mega clear brow and eyelash um, mascara so I am gonna just apply it over my brow to give it a little definition but at the same time keeping the eyebrows very light so this is how I'm doing it I'm just brushing out the product onto my eyebrows I always have kind of trouble doing this eye <laughs> because the 
the angle doesn't seem to fit really well but then again it's fine you have to do it this kind of also helps to get out any of the um, excess foundation that you might have on on your eyebrows as well so for my eyeshadow today i'll be using the maybelline uh, master contour palette and i'm gonna go in with the contour shade i have used this contour shade before as well for some of my uh, warm toned eyeshadow looks i really like it. it it works well as a contour as well as an eyeshadow and most of the time you'll catch me using it as an eyeshadow so I'm just gonna go in with a brush and I'm gonna apply it over my eyes. It doesn't have to be too perfect. You just so as you can see, I've done my eyeshadow and I've not done it perfectly because it uh, doesn't matter. The whole look will come out great at the end. But yeah, I've just applied a brown contour shade over my eyes and I'm just letting it settle. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply a little shimmery shade at the center of my eyes and that's gonna help uh, kind of brighten the look so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use this highlighter shade from the same maybelline master contour palette and apply it at the center of my eyes So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this brush this is a fluffy crease brush uh, I don't know the brand of this brush my mother uses it but yeah what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a windshield sort of motion around my eyes like this and this is how I'm gonna blend my eyeshadow So after blending out my eyeshadow, I'm going to be using a blue eyeliner today for my look and today I'll be using the Lacme Water Resistant Eyeliner. I really like this eyeliner because it's very affordable and it gives me a matte finish. So that is the kind of look I'm going for today. It's going to be matte eyeliner look. So I've done my eyeliner, it is very pretty blue color as you can see, it's gonna give me a royal blue kind of finish and after I've done this, I'm gonna go in with my mascara and today what I'll be using is the Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. I really like this one because it really boosts my lashes, makes them look longer and voluminized. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna apply it on the top uh, eyelashes and on the bottom eyelashes as well so uh, this is how my eyes look after doing my blue eyeliner my eyeshadows and my mascara so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna contour my face and I'll be using the uh, Sugar Cosmetics Contour Day Force Palette. This is in the shade Subtle Summit. I'll just show you. This is what it looks like from the outside. So I've contoured pretty much every part of my face except my nose. I'm going to show you how I do my nose because I feel like I'm showing it today. 
so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this angled brush and I'm gonna tap it get the product over here and then I'm gonna make a smooth stroke going from uh, my underneath my eyebrows and down and I'm gonna do this in the same way over here After contouring my face, I'm gonna go in with the blush and the blush that I'll be using today is the Palladio's Baked Blush in the shade Blushing. I really like this blush because it gives a nice sheen uh, and makes my cheeks look very rosy. So let me just uh, show you how I'm gonna use my brush and I'm gonna swirl it, swirly swirly. And I'm gonna apply it on my cheeks and onto my nose as well and on my other cheek. So, uh, next for my lips, I'm gonna be using the uh, Nika Case True Matte Liquid Lipstick. This is the shade Turkish Rose and it's gonna give me this really nice nude pink sort of lips and uh, that is gonna help my eyes to pop more so this is the finished look i hope you enjoyed watching this video so please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you do and subscribe to my channel for more such videos